More firefighters are coming to Huntsville as the city approved 19 mm -hmm. new fire and rescue positions for the upcoming fiscal year. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live after speaking with the fire chief about how these new positions will help the department respond to our growing city. Well, Marie, the challenge here is really keeping up with all of that growth. As we know, Huntsville just keeps booming. But these new positions, they're going to help the fire department respond to an increasing number of calls, as well as help the department expand, which they plan to do by adding a new station in West Huntsville next year. But the purpose for adding the positions now is so that they can get people prepared and trained, which is a lengthy process. From the time a position is posted to when someone is actually hired takes about six months with all of the written and physical tests involved. Now, a new position added for the first time this year will specifically be for IT support, something the department hasn't needed in the past, but as they use more and more technology to respond to calls, the chief says this new position is vital. We really need that district because so much stuff we do now is on computer. Everything from a lot of our training classes to we've just changed the software to a new software that allows us to put our pre-fire plans all of our hydrant checks all in one software, the same thing we have alarms, so we've got to have more IT support. Fire Chief Mac McFarland knows these added positions are crucial in continuing to provide the best first response time possible. The only problem is he's worried with how they're going to be able to fill the 19 new positions when they have nearly double that in current openings. I'll have more on the fire department's recruiting struggles tonight on Way 31 News at 6. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.